Welcome to this lesson on polynomials. Let's go over some important vocabulary first. Some of these we talked about in the last lesson in expressions. So a term is numbers and variables that are multiplied together. So 3x, same thing as 3 times x, 10, 5x squared, x to the fourth power, all of those are terms. And an expression is two or more terms. And they're going to be joined by addition or subtraction. A polynomial is an expression with many terms. So 5x cubed plus 3x squared minus 10x plus 2, that's a polynomial. And a degree is the highest exponent of a polynomial, the largest number. So the degree for this one is 5. Standard form of a polynomial is when a polynomial is arranged from greatest exponent to least exponent. So let's rearrange this polynomial on the right so that it's in standard form. So 5 is the highest exponent, so I'm going to write that term first, 2x to the fifth power. I'm just going to kind of cross them out as I go. 3 is the next largest, so negative 4x cubed. Whatever sign is in front of the, poly of the term stays with that term. So this is negative 4x cubed. And then 2 is our next largest exponent, so negative 8x squared, so minus 8x squared. And then last, you write any constant. So we have a positive 10, so I'm going to write plus 10. So that is standard form for that polynomial. Leading coefficient is the number written in front of the variable with the highest exponent when it's in standard form. So you may want to make a note. It has to be in standard form. So this polynomial is in standard form. The leading coefficient would be 8. Okay, so let's try some examples. Number one, how many terms does the polynomial have? So terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. Number two, what is the degree of the polynomial? So make sure it's in standard form. The highest degree should be first, which is 6. Number three, write the polynomial in standard form. So remember, we want to go from largest exponent to smallest exponent. And whatever sign is in front of that term stays with that term. So the highest exponent is 4, so 5x to the fourth power. I'm going to write that first. And minus 10x cubed minus 2x squared. And then we have a positive 16, so plus 16. Number four, what is the leading coefficient? So make sure it's in standard form, and it is. The leading coefficient should be the first number, so negative 7. Number five, write the polynomial in standard form. All right, so negative 10x to the seventh power plus 4x to the fourth power plus 3x squared, and then your constant comes last, plus 1. Number 6, what is the degree of the polynomial? So remember, that's the highest exponent, which would be 3. All right, let's talk about how to classify polynomials. So polynomials can be classified by their degree, which remember is the highest exponent, and by the number of terms. So let's talk about degree first. So if a term 
has a degree of zero or a polynomial has a degree of zero, that's called a constant. So for example, five. All right, if a polynomial has a degree of one, that's linear. So that would be like x, x to the first power. The reason a constant has a degree of zero is because it's really like five x to the zero power. And we're gonna talk about exponent properties more in detail in another unit, but anything to the zero power is one. So this is really like five times one, which is five. That's why it's to the zero power. All right, if it has a degree of two, it's quadratic. That would be like x squared. A degree of three is cubic, so x to the third power. And of course it doesn't have to be x, it could be y, it could be any variable. To the fourth power is called quartic, so x to the fourth power. And to the fifth power is quintic. Okay, number of terms. So if a polynomial has just one term, it's called a monomial. So for example, 5x. If it has two, it's called a binomial. Think about a bicycle has two wheels, so two terms. So like 4x plus eight. If it has three terms, it's a trinomial. Like a triangle has three sides. So like x squared minus 3x plus 1, that has three terms. And then four or more ter terms, you just call it a polynomial. So that has four terms, it's a polynomial. Now technically you can call all of these polynomials but these are just more specific terms for the polynomials. Okay, so classify each polynomial by degree and number of terms. So let's do degree first. Remember degree is the highest exponent, so this has a highest degree of three, which means it's cubic. And then it has one term, so it's a monomial. Number two, the highest degree is two, so it's quadratic. And it has one, two, three terms. So it's a trinomial. Okay, pause the video now and try three through six by yourself. Number three has a degree of one. You don't see it, but it's understood to be there, x to the first power. So it's linear. And it has two terms, so it's a binomial. Number four is a constant, so it has a degree of zero. It's a constant. And it's just one term, so it's a monomial. Number five has a degree of four, so it's quartic. Two terms, so binomial. And then six, the highest degree is five. And it has four terms, so a quintic polynomial. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete the practice.